Hello, it's Expo Ashley Pink, I'm with Love Ashley, and I'm here for this Oops a Daisy <laughs> haul. I ordered from her sale. She had a sale, and I ordered from her, and she's always so quick. Like this it was like last week, and I'm just I'm honestly surprised because I am in um I'm in Nova Scotia and I suppose like it probably goes to Halifax so that's why it's so quick but it still surprises me that it's so quick mainly because I'm so used to ordering from the States um, and it takes so long like I love Glam Planner if you've seen any of my stickers you know that most of my kits are Glam Planner kits because I pre-bought my kits and I pre-bought a lot of Glam Planner kits this year but it's just, it takes six to eight weeks for me to get anything from Glam Planner. And then this is from the UK. It's from Essex and U United Kingdom. And it takes less than a week. Business day was. So yes, I ordered, oh yes, these were the pens. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm such a pen freak having a bunch of Christmas sales so yeah her little postcard and then the pen the pen oh it also came with a little candy cane that's so cute I'm so excited oh my god zebra doodlers I love zebra I have where is it here it is this is, this is the, these are the pens that I use all the time for um, bullet journaling. This is Erin Condren thing. And yes, I have these two black pens, which are Micron and like Bic, Pick Micron and Bic, but these um, Zebra brand mild liners, I have one pack of these. I'd love to get all the colors because they come in like a bajillion colors, but these are the ones I currently use and I love them. So when I found out she had these brand, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to open these and then I'll do a swatch test. So there's that. So I got, let me see it right again. So I got the glitter gel pens. I got the mechanical colored pencils, the Zebra Sensation, and then I got the me metallic gel pens. So these are the doodlers. So then that means that, oh, yeah, oh, they're stuck together. <laughs> okay, so these are the mechanical colored pencils. And I could already tell that they're awesome, but need a bit of help because there was a little a stopper that fell off. Okay. So, yes, any other ones in here? So I'll see if I can fiddle with this just so they're not like popping in and out all the time, unless it's supposed to. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be. Anyway, these are those. And it looks like, they're, yeah, they're mechanical colored pencils. I got, I just got all of them. And then these metallic gel pens. Oh my God. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my um, blackout. Oh, I'm so excited. So. This is my bullet journal that I'm using every day. I'll go to the back. For, this is the pen test page. But I'll do this. Okay, so where is... So I'll use my regular one. And I'm going to say pen test... I also wanted to test them on this. This is the Scribbles That Matter Starry Night. It is a blackout journal. And if you're not familiar with blackout journals, you'll get a hint. So I'm gonna do it on the white first and then I'll do it on the blackout journal. Sorry, I got home from Tim Hortons. So first I'm going to do the zebra uh, doodlers. 
um, and their glitter. for the zebra doodle gel glitter now I, what I'm going to do is do the same thing I'm gonna go into fast mode and I'm gonna do the same thing in my starry night instead of black I will be using my jelly roll uh, my Sakura jelly roll in 08 <laughs> Okay, so as you saw, I kind of like went over it all with my hand really quick. And some people might be like, Ashley, it takes a while to dry. But I just want to point out that you didn't see it, but after I read that, I did the exact same thing. So I gave it the same amount of time and this didn't smudge, but it did on here, which tells me that, you know, if I wanted to use it in here, it would just take longer to dry, which I was expecting. So I'm gonna just quickly put these back just until I find where their forever home is going to be I think it's better to just keep them in their container oh, no wonder it was off because this is one off now I did buy these with the blackout journal in mind I um I bought a blackout journal from scribbles that matter um, just because I wanted to see what it looked, would look like. I have a couple blackout journals actually, um, but I've never ever used them because I didn't buy gel pens or any of the bright pens that you need. So I bought those with, I bought these with that in mind and they do look really nice on it. Um, they're drying really differently. Like, look. Um, they're drying a lot darker. They were really vibrant at first and now like you have to really use the light to see so I don't think like they're showing up a lot more on camera than they are. Like if I'm going to turn, I'll turn off my light. It's, they're showing up a lot more on camera than they are in real life. There, I'll turn my light back on. Okay. So next I'm going to try the zebra uh, sensation um zebra arts and crafts sensations and i believe these are colored pencils mechanical colored pencils yep mechanical colored pencils <laughs> so where there we are so zebra sensation Mechanical colored pencils. And yes, I know that's wrong. So I usually like to do this in rainbow order. So let's start with this.
I am going to do this in my blackout. But I am not going to do like the same thing. I'm just gonna do like a color like I would. more vibrant on here and and the, with the light but like these look really good and finally oh we should probably look to see how they're doing on the back so there's no ghosting or anything on the black page which I was expecting I was expecting I mean it and then on the back of this nothing so finally next we have the um, zebra metallic gel pen they are medium apparently not suited for children under the age of 36 months which fun fact is three which I only know because I'm a preschool teacher so I'm gonna say zebra metallic. I know that's spelled wrong, but I'm guessing. Gel pens. Totally just stab myself. And then that is what it looks like on there. The black, again, you can't really see because it's blackout. Okay, but let's do the smudge test. Okay. And again, it's a bit more wet but I expect that on a blackout paper. So if I was gonna do a, like, if I was gonna do a spread with this, I would just leave it out to dry and probably make sure I have some pins, like some clips nearby to hold it open. Because Scribbles That Matter is really good quality. And that actually is that. So that is that. If you like this video, please give it a like, share, thumbs up, and on the top of blue, and I will see you later. Bye.